guys, look who I'm here with, Miss Ellie, Ellie Bean. <laughs> we just got done swimming and we had a really good workout. Now we're having breakfast together, so we'll show you is what we ordered. But I drink this after the pool, it's sparkling. It tastes like pop without sugar. It's great, it's like lemon lime. Oh yeah, we wanted to get, they had homemade cod cakes. Mm -hmm. And it said it had like red onion and dill and chives and like PEI potatoes, Jacqueline, PEI. Anyway, they were sold out, I guess, so we had to order our backup. And Ellie is drinking black coffee. Don't tell the dietitian or the doctor. <laughs> Look at my breakfast. Oh good, they cooked the bacon just like I asked, crispy. Breakfast too. And she got an omelet breakfast. And instead of the toast, she just got extra potatoes, which she'll probably bring most of those home. <laughs> yep. But yeah, looks great. Mm. I had to share this. I'm at the dollar store, you guys. The mindfulness journal. Isn't this awesome? Look at today's mindful moments. How I practical how I practice mindfulness this week. It has like I feel like there was more than just that. Wellness intention, mindless rituals. And then they also have, like, look at that, intentions and reflections. Reflection. Uh, what acknowledgments can you give yourself? What obstacles, challenges did you face with these goals? Ooh, I like that. I think I want to get this one. I like this. It's raining. I forgot my bathing suit and towel out here and my water shoes. I do water therapy now. It really helps slowly um yeah guys look what's new in the garden are you screaming i have a cute scarecrow he's gonna get soaking wet but i'm absolutely loving 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 this rain the girls are still in the house i hope but yeah it's just coming down i got my umbrella Ooh. Oh, this makes my heart happy. It's been a heat wave summer, so this rain is so welcome. Oh no, Puppy came out with me. <laughs> Coco's the smart one. Hey Coco, you're the smart one. Oh, yeah. I gotta come get you, eh? Hey? Eh? You snuck outside with mumsies? You did? Okay, come here.
everything's getting a good fresh watering. Very, very, very much needed. Where's the asparagus? It looks so messy, but it's my asparagus garden right there, that rectangle. My first summer, the asparagus were really tall and a lot of them kind of bent over, but they're okay. Let's have a look here in the side garden. My flowers. Ooh, those pretty orange ones. So I had red, pink. Look how beautiful they are, Jacqueline. This is what you got coming, girl. So pretty. <laughs> you guys look at her. <laughs> you see a little spiky hair? I'm gonna have to towel dry ya. Hey, this one stayed in. She's smarter. Yes, you're older and you're smarter. Yeah, the rain's calming down now. We really needed this. All right, folks. The morning after the rain. We got a good heavy rain last night, which we desperately needed. I'm just coming to pick the fresh fruit. But look at the zucchini growing. Look at there's one. There's another one underneath. The big one there, one there. I picked about five already just off this plant. Scarecrow in the garden. Look at this. I think we have corn growing. You guys, I think I see corn on the cob. Look at the tomatoes. It's early in the morning, Coco. It's okay. She hears somebody outside. Um, look at my... Oh, hold on, guys. I gotta go get something. Alright, guys. I'm over this side. Look at all the things that fell off from this here. They're like seeding or something. But you guys, I actually have real corn on the cob growing. I don't want to step on anything. That's a corn on the cob! They're all gonna grow corn. So I see one there. There's one coming here. <sighs> there's some coming over there too. Look at there's one literally right there. Can you guys see? I, I my heart's so happy. I'm so excited. But I don't know if you guys can see my look at how this is just growing like crazy. This is buttercup squash. There's my little chicken. That's our pigeon. He comes here every day for food. Hey! I I can only feed him in the front because the seed's in the front yard, but I will feed him. I see a bumblebee hard at work right there. Um, the squash is doing freaking incredible. Look at look at this. Oh, maybe he's gonna go eat his breakfast. Um, I have squash. Oh, look, do you guys see that nice squash growing? I also have watermelon. So this plant is going to go wherever it wants. Um, do you see this big watermelon coming? Look at it, I'm so happy. And then I got squash growing through the garden there. But yeah, I have corn. Corn is coming! Look how nice and tall it is, isn't that awesome? It is, it's beautiful. Oh, there's two bees in that one. Oh, Oh no, I see two over there. I only want one pigeon, and it's the pigeon that we saved two pigeons and we helped them. They lived here for a while in our backyard. They lived under the deck, but they had the full roost of the um, yard. What happened is they were babies and they were in a dangerous spot near a highway. So we picked them up, took them home, they lived in the backyard till they could fly and it was so funny because when they were babies they were trying to scurry away the other pigeons 
It was so funny. We never get pigeons in the backyard, but because there was two baby pigeons, the adult pigeons started coming back. And anyway, they don't now. Now they stay to the front yard and it's just the pigeon. It's usually just, which one is it? That one. No, this one here with the white. Yep. Anyway, you guys, look at the garden. It's growing amazing. I'm going to go pick my berries. Look at all the flowers coming on these string beans. Because, you know, that's that's what I mean. You plant things at different times and they all come. Oh, look. Look at this. I got lots of string beans here. Look at, look at all throughout there. Can you guys see all the beautiful string beans? Oh, folks, I'm going to start blueberry picking. Look at these puppies every day. So what I do is I come to the patch here and I'll pick all the blue ones. And then what I do is I go over to the raspberry patch, which is incredible. A little bit of attention. Look at all the raspberries over there. Now, like, look how healthy they are. Look at the beautiful berries. There's all kinds. So I've been picking the raspberries and the blueberries every day. There's a ton. Yay, I'm so excited for today's picking. Amazing. There's lots over there. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. Get the blueberries picked and I'll show you guys. Look at the water from last night. That's amazing. So yeah, I'm going to pick and I'll show you guys how much I get. You guys, look at this big, beautiful bowl of fresh garden picked berries. What a blessing. And soon, soon enough, I mean, we still got a ways to go, but these are all blackberries. They're going to grow huge. Look at... Can, can you guys see the level of berries just on this bush alone? Like, look at them. All kinds. All kinds of beautiful berries growing. Look, there's tons more coming here. Like, just so many. It's an abundance blessing. Oh, I wish you could smell this and just, you can really smell the sweetness. It's amazing. You get out of there. Get. What, you want one? Mommy, give you one there. Here, Coco. Coco won't eat it, but Cupcake will. <laughs> yeah, the grass is wet this morning, so. Here, you can have that one. That's it now. Eat your berry. You're not touching that. Gotta take it with me. So, yeah, you guys, the grapes are still... They won't be ready till like September. So another at least month, month and a half, but tons and tons and tons. Grapes galore. And then same with the kiwis. They're still growing. They're still getting bigger. Look at them just in abundance. Do you guys see? They're literally under everything. Like full, full. They're all doing so well. So well. Girls love being out. Yeah, the grass is still wet. It's really early in the morning, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick a quick show of the garden. I see a squash coming up right there. I don't know if that's a squash or not. I can't see the bottom of it. Let me see. Oh, uh, it is. I'll have two squash growing right beside each other. So yeah, everything's coming great. Well, they see someone, so I'm going to go and bark. Anyway, the corn's doing really good. I'm so pleased. So, I have a friend. She's going to bring me um, fresh cucumber that she grew because I didn't grow any. And I'll be giving her zucchini. Yes. Yes. I wonder if I can go to her house for a garden tour. I don't know. Maybe. But... I just want to show you guys um, that is a new strawberry garden that I had planted this summer in the box over there and then this is as well so a lot of the you can see the green is just kind of squished to the ground we had a really heavy rain but the roots underneath are still growing and I think they're gonna be absolutely fine they just need to adjust once they root they'll flourish they'll pick right up just like all the other strawberries look at look at them they're doing their second 
their second season of growing strawberries. So we'll see how many we get. Hopefully I get enough to make some good homemade jam because we literally are on our very last bottle of homemade jam and then we'll be out. We ate all our jam. All right, guys, I just got myself a snack. I love these pita chips. They're pita crackers, but they are garlic and herb, and they taste so good, especially paired with this. This is the cranberry burgers on cheese, and it is so creamy. It's so delightful. Like adding cranberry in here really just set it over the edge. Yum. Look at that. And it's a nice, healthy, like, mixture, smorgasbord. Ah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That crunch. That's how cool. Mmm. And who doesn't love pickles? I love a good crunchy pickle. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So my hubby is out here with me. I'm literally just unpacking this love seat and I'm going to wash these cushions. See how dirty they got? The raccoon itself isn't dirty. What happens is when it rains, it gets muddy, so I'm gonna, I'll take these cushions right off of here, and I'm gonna give them a big scrub, and then we're gonna do the hose and wash this whole thing off, but I'm just gonna have this clean, because it's gonna take a while, but I am gonna scrub it, and then let it dry in the sun, it's gonna be a hot day, so, at least this will be decent, but, I might try to see if I can get like a plastic to put over it to protect our thing because this is like Morris's couch, right? And he loves laying on it. And anyway, this one for you guys. Folks, my heavy took over. We're getting the, the deck sprayed nicely. The cushions are at least washed as much as I could. The couch is fully disinfected get down from there um that's all washed and scrubbed even the rug I scrubbed and wash it now s'mores does not make a mess honestly he doesn't that was from me I took out my peonies and they're like planted above the ground so I hope that they survive the winter but anyway I'm gonna arrange this right now hold on fresh water going in compost is building it is muggy as heck out here, so these are scrubbed as much as they can be scrubbed. So they're going to take all day to dry because we really wet them, but let's have an overview of the garden. Yep, we got lots of, it's sheep manure, and then the rest of it was like a mix. So the purple bags are sheep manure, which is what I wanted. And then the other stuff is like sheep and cow and chicken, I think. I see the bees out here working. Hi, puppy. All right. Let's go down to the garden. Oh, wow, I see a big zucchini in here. Can you guys see the zucchinis? Nice big one there, almost done. This one here can be picked today. You see how nice and huge that is? But this has been nonstop producing zucchini. It's been amazing. Any bees in there this morning? Um, there's a baby zucchini coming right there and uh, another one here this one's discolored though so I don't know but look at this guy this guy's almost ready another day or so um, there's the scarecrow <laughs> yeah I gotta show you guys the squash look at the corn we're actually getting corn yay I knew we were going to but um, look at look at all the nice big fat tomatoes and I picked some already <sighs> So in our strawberry garden, 
I was weeding a little bit yesterday. The weeds, you got to keep it up, eh? But um, I still need to put a better covering of sawdust. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean by sawdust. Get out of the way. See, it's very fine, very soft. See, that's what I call sawdust. So I need to really, really load that like three inches, three inches thick in on this side of the strawberries. That side of the strawberries, I did it last year. It was perfect. My yard guy did it for me actually, but I need my yard guys to do it again here. Look at my hubby with the hose. <laughs> oh, so yeah, do you guys see my squash vine coming right through the strawberry garden? <laughs> There's actually squash growing. Don't know if you can tell. There's one there. And there is one here with that flower. I checked it yesterday. So, don't spray me. Look at these grapes, guys. Aren't they beautiful? Beautiful. My flowers. Now, I got to get string and tie this up today because it's becoming loose and it grew like extra. So, my goal is to have between the grapevine that you see there and my blackberries growing up and have it tied up all along. This is going to be great. Um, the flowers are just beautiful. Just beautiful. The birds love their bird bath. They literally wash in it every day. Um, these tires, I'm going to leave the hay there for the summer and then in the fall I'm going to move the hay or the straw, straw not hay. I'm going to move the straw and then fill that right up with, um, I want to get a garbage bag. I have three tires, one, two, and one over there. So that's going to be an additional three tire spaces to garden next summer. So what I'm going to do is get three garbage bags full of seaweed and that will be the starter in there. And then I'll load the sheep manure in. I wanted seafood compost, but they're done for the year. Um, let's have a look in here and see what's going on. I see there's a baby one growing right there. Is there any more? There gotta be more in here. Oh yeah, ouch. Look, one there, one there. Can you see that one? That one's pretty big. That can be picked probably tomorrow. Woo, nice bee in there. Oh, there's two bees. There's two. <laughs> Give them their space. Woo. Um, these are the strawberries. I'm hoping that they do well. We'll see how they do. But I got tons of berries over here. Look how big they're going to get, guys. They get ginormous. See, some of them are already, when they turn black, then they're ready, but they're not fully ready yet. Oh, I have a moldy one here. Get that off. Don't know, don't know what caused that, but look at this guy. Almost. Lots of berries. Um, oh yeah, I want to show you guys the squash. Hold on. First of all, my string beans are still doing excellente. They will have to be picked in a couple days. Look, look, I'm going to let them grow bigger, but it's just blankets and blankets of string beans in here. That's what I mean. You can plant things real close together. Um, now this one I planted the latest and look at, look at all the flowers. So that's going to make a ton of string beans. You see all the flowers? Every flower makes a beautiful bean. So this one's really, really happy. It's just loaded. And then I have beans to pick from here too. I believe these are my green beans. Yep, there. Look how nice and big these green beans are, guys. Beautiful. These are yellow. My watermelon is doing amazing. Look at, you guys see my watermelon. Look at the size of it. I'm so thankful. <sighs> and I don't know if there's any more or not because I got my squash growing through here too. It's going wherever it wants. While I'm down here, I have squash growing. Look at this nice squash right there. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh! And these are the favorite squash that we love to eat. There's another squash right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. That squash. And then this is the same squash vine that you've seen going through the strawberries. But look how lush and green and healthy everything is. And we've had such abundance. Like this summer, the strawberries were amaze balls. What a blessing. Um, see the corn? You guys see the corn growing? 
Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I have little tomatoes growing here. This, this tomato plant here was just grew completely on its own from my tomato compost that was already in the garden. Just from like a rogue seed. So that'll grow later, but look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I love it. Oof. I just hit it and like dust or whatever flew from it, pollen or look at these are all going to be corn. Do you guys see that little hair? That hair? That's corn. Yay! So happy. Oh, this one's getting two corn. One there and one here. Yay. Mr. Bee in here doing his thing. That's what I mean. Our yard has so many beautiful bees. So this here is where my squash had been originally planted. And do you see where it's growing? Up my fence. And I actually have squash. Let me walk over here. I don't want to ruin anything. Don't spray me, boo! So I want to show you guys. I have actual squash. This I tried to get out of the fence yesterday. And it's like, it's okay. When it's done growing, I'll just cut that part off. But it's growing in my fence. And then I have, I had a big, look at this pretty squash here. There was a big one somewhere. I saw it yesterday. Where is it? It was like a big fatty. Where is it? Wait. Anyway, I have another one right here. Um, there was, you, oh, right here. Look at that big fat one. Look at, compared to my hand. I know I had a big fat one growing that was hanging. Um, oh my gosh, I thought there was like a person. Look, there's another squash there. I thought there was like a person here. I forgot. My hubby is just watering things. Um, see, I have another watermelon plant growing here. And this here, wait now. This is another squash planted in the garden and then it's right by this watermelon here. So I'm not sure if I have any watermelon growing or not because I don't want to disturb it. But I do see flowers, so I'm hoping. And the tomatoes are doing incredible. Everything is so happy. Every gardener needs a scarecrow, guys, and they're at the dollar store now for fall. So um, as soon as this is done, if there's, oh yeah, there is still more string beans. I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick the string beans from this one today. See, this one's still flowering. You see all the flowers? That's making string beans. It's, that's why it's great not to plant them all at the same time. You want to plant them at different times. Um, look at, I got another squash flower there. So yeah, I let my squash and watermelon grow wherever it wants to grow. So it'll go, look, more corn. More corn! I love it. Thank you, God. I'm so happy. My stalks. Look, another corn there. So it's doing really well. Like, I'm so pleased. But yeah, I'm gonna haul the green beans from here and haul everything out and replant all kinds of seeds today. Now, remember the tire I showed you with the watermelon, like right there? I had two watermelon growing in there, which watermelon needs its space for nutrients and water. So I planted the second one here and you can see all the leaves died off. I do have a watermelon growing right there and it didn't die off so I think there's still life in that vine and it may just be able to produce that one single watermelon because all the leaves died. So it might come back to life, I really don't know. But it was uprooted while it was fruiting so that's never ever good to do. So yeah guys, isn't this nice? My hubby's still over there watering. <laughs> he loves being in the garden too. All right, I'm gonna pick these beautiful string beans. Look at those. All right, talk to you later.